So for this bracelet, you will need a hook because this is a hook only design, one C clip, and you can use as many colors as you'd like for the bracelet. So today I'll be using the zebra stripe band for the outer border, like border. So on this bracelet, it's the same color. And then for the middle part, I'll be using the um, mixed mark band. And Supposed to be yellow and green, then blue and green, and then purple. It's supposed to be purple and blue, but it's more pink on that band. So, anyways, let's get started with the bracelet. So, what you're first gonna do is you're actually not gonna use your hook, and this is actually a variation of my Sandy Shells bracelet. So, what you're gonna do? You're gonna grab your C clip and then your border band. Well, anyway, so you're just gonna string this C clip, and you're gonna string this band through the C clip. I'm sorry, my hands look a little shiny or glossy. It's just because I just had ice cream. like that. And you're going to put your hook through it like that. So yeah. And now what you're going to do is... Light here. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab a band and you're going to pull it through these bands. Like that. And you're going to flip all the bands around like this. And then you're going to grab another one, and you're going to grab the same color, and you're going to just pull it through. So your hook should look like this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab a band, which will be your outer band. And you're going to do that, and then grab the two middle bands right here. So, th this is where it becomes different, and this is how you get the little cross effect in the middle. Kind of remind me of pretzels. So, what you're going to do, you're actually just going to cross these bands, like that. So, like that. Let's see. And then, you're going to grab your next color for the middle. I'm going to try under it now because it's a little pile over here. Okay. Perfect. And see if this is the right color. Yes, it is. It didn't look right for a second. So, I'm going to do this. And I'll just pull it through two front bands. So let me focus. There we go. I'm going to pull it through just the two bands in the front, if you know what I mean. So, so like that. And it might, the bracelet might look really lacy right now, don't worry, it'll fix itself, the bracelet. Okay, well, there we go. And now what you're going to do is you're going to grab that same color, these two bands that are right here. So like that. And again, this, will, this bracelet will fix itself. It's a little bit hard with the opaque bands and the limited edition because they kind of fight, if you know what I mean. Like they, the bands fight with each other, so they kind of make it hard for the bracelet to produce itself. So I recommend not doing this, but for the tutorial, I'm just going to leave it like this. And I'll finish, I might finish the bracelet. I'm probably not going to. It's pretty late at night. I mean, it's not that late, but anyway, you're going to pull it through all the bands. You're going to grab the middle two. And 
I just wanted to show you my other swatch of the bracelet. It'll come out like this if you don't use limited edition bands. So it'll come out a lot neater than the one that I had before. Let's focus. And thank you for all the lovely comments on um, my Sandy Shells tutorial. If you want to see that bracelet, let me I actually don't know where it is at the moment, but you can check out the tutorial on my channel. So yeah. And then you go to grab your next color. Grab it like that. And then you're going to pull it through just the two front bands right here. Okay, there we go. And then you're going to flip all the bands around like that. And then you're going to grab the same color again. And then you're just going to show you guys one more time and as you can see this is coming out a lot neater now that I'm making the bracelet because this one looks pretty cool. So now what you're gonna do is I'm just gonna scooch it before and you're just gonna Mumbled there, sorry. And, um, yeah. The bands are already crossed for me, and I don't know how to do that, but that's cool. So, anyway, I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to pull it through these two bands through that. And sorry, yeah. Uh, my hook's being weird. <laughs> I'll be right back. I just need to go. Wait. Oh wait. I will be right back because I just, I just fixed it. There we go. Well, I just fixed it, and I'm just gonna do that. Yeah. So now I'm gonna flip all the bands around like that. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab another one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera to finish the length of my bracelet. Pause the video here and rewatch the previous instructions if you do not really get the process. Yeah. So I'll um, see you in a little bit. So when you are finished with your bracelet, your bracelet should look like this. Yeah. Um, so it'll probably look better than mine. Yeah. Um, if you use regular bands. This is really easy to end. So you're basically just going to grab your border band and then. Sorry, I just took a shower, so I feel a little slippery. And now you're just going to pull it through. Like that. And on the other end, as you can see, there's a C clip. I'm going to do that. Like that. I know it's on a full bracelet, it could be a ring. My version is a ring now. So, anyways, thank you for watching this tutorial on my pretzel, no, on my pretzel twist bracelet. Please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below. I really hope you enjoy this tutorial. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching.